Climate change continues to be one of the greatest threats to our environment and the future of mankind. Creating energy efficient solutions to reduce the effects of global climate change is essential to putting an end to this crisis. HVAC is a global industry that includes so many things all together. About 40 to 60 percent of the solutions from global climate change come straight from our industry. We make things happen. We make things work. Be part of the solution by joining the HVAC program at El Camino College, where it's not just about where the future can take you, but where you can take the future. HVAC is about energy efficiency, and the solution to energy efficiency comes straight from our industry of making things run more effectively, more efficiently, and making sure that we capitalize on renewable energy. Every building now has got some focus on optimizing energy, power usage. The utilities themselves have millions and millions of dollars available for energy reducing projects and our HVAC industry taps into that, partners with them all the time to come up with energy saving projects for given building owners. By 2020, all new homes will be net zero. And by 2030, all new businesses will be net zero. Net zero means that we don't use any more energy than we produce. That's gonna require some imagination. That is gonna require technicians with the skills necessary to fully realize the potential of equipment as installed, but also in those installations to fully maximize what wasn't perceived originally. When you go for a job, that piece of paper really, really counts. And people look at you differently when you have that degree. I came from the community college program. I worked in the trades personally. And uh, based upon my the education and the training I received at the community college, got a job. And then as I progressed in my job, my employer paid for me to go get my, my graduate and postgraduate degrees. I didn't have to pay anything for those. So for students who think they can't afford college, there's a lot of avenues for them to take. There's um, fee waivers that will pay for their fees for college. They're, if they apply through FAFSA, they're eligible for fee waivers and grants, so they just have to do it. And also, if they're not eligible for those things, there's a lot of scholarships that students can apply for. And there's uh, a lot of scholarships specific for air conditioning refrigeration. So we have a program where the students borrow the books. And so um, the two classes um, that are involved with this program for air conditioning refrigeration, their books are taken care of. Uh, before I came to El Camino, I worked at a grocery store. I was checking groceries and uh, worked in st uh, stocking shelves and that type of thing. I'm the facility systems lead here at El Camino College. That systems department consists of electrical, HVAC, and automotive repair. We highlight certain programs, uh, one of which is air conditioning repair and refrigeration, um, because some of our programs were able to provide more support than just if a student were just to decide to come to El Camino and enroll on their own. Uh, some of those supports include informing them about the labor market research that shows that this career pathway could lead to a high industry job quickly. We make sure that they've filled out their financial aid if they've applied for the Pell Grant. We make sure they've done everything to get that. If there's other grant resources available to them, we let them know about it. Um, through our partnership with the Workforce Investment Board, we have other resources that could be available to them depending on their eligibility. And so we connect them with every supportive program that they can. If they're a veteran, we connect them with the Veterans Office. If they have a disability, we connect them with a special resource center. We basically make sure they have all the support they need to be successful. I'm a counselor for the program, so I, I'm there to assist students 
they get an educational plan with me, if they decide to pursue their whole program um, and get their degree or even transfer, they can come to me and I will plan it out for them. I actually register them for their classes, so you just have to go. Our HVAC program is not just climbing up into attics, it's not the grimy, get dirty job anymore. We do have women that are taking classes in our program here. Um, if they're a, a woman in a non-traditional field, we connect them with Women in Technology, our club here on campus. We have an advisory that we consult with so we know what skills are required for students to have when they complete the program. Basically, we follow those guidelines and students are getting jobs when they complete. I've, I've had a wonderful experience, both as a graduate and as an instructor. El Camino has just embraced me as a female instructor and encouraged me um, to continue to move forward and, and strive for higher goals. I take great pride in my work. Um, there's nothing better than the feeling of landing in some big problem and, and just being able to take care of that problem, make the customer happy. Um, it's, it's extremely rewarding, especially being a female. Sometimes people may have their doubts. Um, so I have a lot of fun when I'm able to uh, fix something and kind of walk away the hero. Young people, for very little education, cost, and dollars, can get out in a very quick period of time, and that is to say in an under four-year period of time and be earning some very good money. A journeyman technician, which can, is very achievable in under five years, is uh, potentially $50 or more. That's a $100,000 a year job. And that's an average technician in our field. So it's an extremely lucrative field with great upside from, from there. With the background that I have in, in HVACR, undoubtedly, I will always have a job. There is such a demand in our industry. You know, our industry is in great need of good qualified technicians, men and women. The HBCR program at El Camino College is a premier program. Um, we have, again, a, a new building um, that supports all the new equipment that's coming in. There's so many issues such as power requirements and we're able to support this amazing equipment that's brand new. I mean, not too many colleges can claim they have brand new equipment. It's cost millions of dollars. I think what it takes more than just the technology is the interest and having a vision and you know getting being passionate about what you do or making a difference in the world whether you know reducing the carbon footprint it's really important you have to be passionate about what you're doing and this for me is just amazing there's so much opportunity out here for our students originally going to go to the union and um, and just take the classes there and I found out they had them here and I took an introduction class with Tim and um, he did like a great job of explaining you know everything to us and uh, telling us about the industry um, and I decided that's exactly what I want to do. A lot, of, a lot of mechanical and electrical work so. Tim has developed an internship program and so he's working with a number of companies so and he's developing internships and we started talking about this and uh, I immediately employers will kind of say, you know, I want an intern. I'll take three or four of them. And they're all willing to pay the, the student, they're willing to train as well, as long as they're enrolled in our HVACR program. So there is a major demand out there. So internships are coming into, into place right now. Train has uh, partnered with El Camino College HVACR program. We find that there's a very heavy alignment philosophically with the El Camino program. We like to be the best and on the cutting edge. We find that that's a good match with El Camino College because their program, their labs, the knowledge of their professors is second to none. So we, we love looking at El Camino as a source for some of our young apprentices to start their careers at train. I finished my HVAC program and I ended up getting a job where I uh, train and they'll pay for uh, me to get my engineering degree. You know, I look forward to journeying out and at train, maybe moving on to an engineering position at train. Our instructors at El Camino College are top-notch and they're all working in the industry. 
Uh, for example, Tim has 20 plus years working for TRAIN and then came, decided to become an instructor. He brings so much experience. Um, along with that, he's also brought other instructors, same caliber training and education for our students. Great instructors. The lab was great. There was lots of different equipment to work on and exposure, ice machines, uh, small refrigerators, walk-in coolers. So this, just going through that, on my first day on the job out there, I already had a pretty good understanding of how things work. If you can imagine it, it can happen. I tell my students all the time, I wish I were you. I really, really do. Because the greatest things that we can imagine are just on the verge of becoming a reality. I am teaching basic electrical. I am alumni, I'm a I was a student here. It's a polytechnical, multidisciplinarian, you know, vocation or career and uh, it entails a lot of physics. You know, most people think it's, you know, when you talk about your refrigeration mechanic, oh, you know how to work on a refrigerator or you're an air conditioning mechanic, or can you work on my window unit or my home unit? I mean, it, you know, th those are honorable professions and positions and portions of the industry, but it's so much larger than that. Technology is advancing, I mean, no longer do you need to just be able to, you know, turn wrenches and be able to braze and solder and wire stuff and conduit? I mean, now you have need to be adept at networking, at utilizing computer, uh, downloadable content, uh, updating operating systems, main processor software. The technology crossover from HVAC and and the energy sector touches transportation touches advanced manufacturing, it touches IT, uh, including air conditioning, it can include architecture, it can include drafting, it can include technologies, it can include electronics, it can include electricity, all kinds of foundational programs. This is a field that can fit pretty much everyone. For those that want to be mechanically oriented, that want to do the hands-on kind of thing, those that want to specialize in the technology, the latest in IT technology, the latest in cell phones, the latest in you know iPads, or whatever it happens to be, the latest in technology for energy efficiency, power production, power distribution, etc. So it's not just mechanical, but it can be mechanical for you. It depends on where you find your passion, and please find your passion. Uh, I wanted to work with my hands. I wanted to be active, and you know this trade, you know, fills the bill on that. And the potential is great for advancement and for, you know, for income to be able to uh, do things. Uh, I mean, you can take it with you. The, the knowledge and the skills that you have are applicable literally across the globe. And if you want to make a great living and never be out of work, I think this is a great industry. I have never been out of work since I went to school here. Not one day. We live in a time like no other in human history. We face challenges and opportunities never before experienced by any generation. A changing climate, an evolving global economy, the need for long-term energy solutions, and a host of problems we are yet to see or be revealed. Those with the vision, those with the drive, will leverage these challenges into the greatest economic, social, and political opportunity of this or any other century. We live in this time where we have at our fingertips all of the knowledge and wisdom of the human race. Just imagine the possibilities. Just imagine where you could be, who you could be. It all starts now. It all starts here.